guys, welcome back. So today we're going to discuss the chainsaw sawmill that Josh purchased uh, a couple weeks ago. He wanted to you know, test it out, see how it works. So we're going to show you how it works and kind of go over and review it a little bit with you. So stay tuned for more. So Josh and I are out here, of course on our property. What? My nuts off. He is sweating profusely. It is slightly warm out here this morning. Um, as you can see, Josh is taking a ladder off, some other things off. We, well, he just made the first initial cut on this poplar that he dropped. Yep. I didn't go as planned towards the end. So he's going to have to set the rig back up to make another first cut so we can get some straight planks off of this poplar tree. Just so you know, we didn't just, you know, kill a tree. This one was pretty much dying. And hopefully there's enough tree here, you know, to build our guinea coop that we are wanting to build. So. Yep. I think I'll just rest right on it. Nice flat cut. Sweet. So, can you explain why why you're using a <coughs> ladder? Oh, uh, it's cheap. <laughs> well, it's like, dual purpose. Dual purpose. But I could have bought. Um, there's an actual uh, setup you can buy. It has adjusters and little things you knock in so it doesn't move and whatnot. But. Uh, it was as much as a ladder, and I need a ladder, an extension ladder. So I got an extension ladder, and uh, <coughs> I took off the little latches, which had uh, one bolt and one rivet on each one. So I just took the rivet out, replaced it with uh, bolts, and now it's dual for purpose. So I can plank out my boards on trees and use it to climb stuff. Just put it back and put the clips back on. And use it as an extension ladder, so dual purpose. Everything we do is dual purpose because you know, money don't grow on trees, so we gotta make the best of everything we got. Right. So you're using the ladder to help make your first initial cut. Yep. It's nice, flat, uh, straight, good aluminum, fairly good aluminum. So 
yeah if you saw from the hyper fast uh video prior to this one you can see josh's machine just kind of ride along the top of the ladder it bogged down a bit because uh actually i'm not sure why but well the ladder was kind of moving around a little bit too much i didn't have it set quite right as right as it needed to be and that's okay see you can see that it shouldn't do that so there's a wobble in it so i'll set it up this time taking the wobble out run another cut and uh that way the rest of the cuts will be nice and even because if I try to run the planer on, or the sawmill on the on the this right here, because it's supposed to ride along the top of this after the first cut, if I did that, it would take the shape of whatever cut initial cut I did, and I don't want that. It's not real bad off, but it's off enough to irritate me. So, plus you don't want to fight the saw. That's never good. So, we will set it up again and do another cut. Yay! Next will be smooth. So currently you're setting your depth. I don't think you heard me, but the two bars that are sticking up towards his face have measurements on them. So he's trying to make sure that they're even on both sides. Oh yeah, he's got his earbuds in. He can't hear me. Um, Cause he doesn't want to make the first well, the second of the first cuts uh, too deep. He just wants to get past the the ladder and into the wood to make a very clean, straight line using this. So he's tightening everything up, making sure that they're even across. Well, looks like it dropped a smidgen on him. And once he gets it perfectly level across, He'll set it up against the tree, and we should be ready to rock and roll for the second of the first cut, since the first cut was a little wonky in his uh, saw bogged up on him there at the last moment. Really uh, caused an angle on the end that's closest to me over here. That's where it started to bog up a little bit, so there's a slight tilt on it. It's not perfect. He is going to attempt to make this cut pretty perfect. So, here we go. Ready to start. So we got our second first cut done. Um, as you can see, it took us actually 30, and a, 30 minutes, just over 30 minutes to do this. Um, Josh said he, it's getting a little sticky in there. Uh, also, you saw him, I don't know if you can see it, but he had to stop several times to move wedges. So it would stop bogging up the back end, pinching the back end of the saw as it was going. But it's pretty. All right. So this should be a fairly flat. 
flat. flat piece for him to basically now set the mill right on top of it without a guide and be able to a little cut wobbly. pieces. Little wobble? A little. Maybe. Pretty darn straight, huh? So let's talk about your setup real quick, baby. Yeah, fill this. <laughs> fill this. He says fill this. Oh, it's wet. It's wet? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got some moisture. I mean, it's dry down here. It's just this center core is like, you can see the moisture in it. I might have to let these dry for a little bit. Yeah. All right, so walk me through your uh, your equipment over here. What equipment? Your oh. saw and your sawmill. Explain this to us. All right. Uh, what well, do you got here? I got the Timber Tough 24-inch sawmill attachment. Put on the Husqvarna 460 Rancher, which is a beast. Uh... It has a 24 inch blade on this inch blade. bar, or I should say bar, not blade. So I can make 22 inch cuts at the max, which is pretty darn decent. Uh, I really don't want to try to move around a log any bigger than that anyway. That's just heavy. So why did we choose to use this option instead of a portable sawmill? Um, well, we don't have the equipment to pull a tree up to where the sawmill would be. So I decided it'd be easier to bring the sawmill to the tree and carry and just load planks up in my truck. Uh, I probably could drag a tree with my truck, but it would have to be on the side of the main, our main road here. And I'm not gonna cut all these trees down just for that. So until I get a tractor or something, to where I can drive down into the woods and make little trails to the tree I want or whatever. Uh, this will suffice. Mm -hmm. So, overall opinions or thoughts on this setup? Um, it's not bad. Uh, I think a bandsaw mill would be physically easier once you start cutting. Uh, it pretty much does, you know, tracks itself. You don't have to sit there and manually do anything with it. So, uh, overall, though, I don't mind it. Um, we cut, I've got a tree over here that isn't green. This tree that we were working on was green. So, it's like a little sticky. But I fell this tree, it's an oak. And it's been, uh, Standing dead for quite for at least three years, uh, so it's dry, and um, it takes about 25 minutes to do a run like this on this size. Yeah, and about approximately how long is this? This is uh, a little over eight foot, and whew, that side leans. <laughs> um, oh god, I gotta sit. Uh, it's eight foot long, almost a foot across. And it takes about 25 minutes to go through but uh when it's dry as this one is there's not as much effort in pushing the saw through that one over there i just cut that like today so it's a little sticky inside and it was a little bit more work to push the saw through obviously because it's wet and sticky that one's also looks like it's closer to nine though it looks appears to be a little bit longer than this one. Yeah, that one's eight and a half. Um, mostly because when it does start to dry, it'll cr make cracks and stuff okay. at the ends. Uh, that gives me a little bit of leeway because they're going to be eight foot planks. Uh, I'll square them off at eight foot. Make it nice and easy for uh, building stuff. Um, Definitely a lot easier to plane something out with a saw when it's dry, but everybody should know that. <laughs> um, so what I'll probably what oh I, so what I'll probably do is drag 
cut this sucker up in like eight and a half foot sections and just drag it up to the hill top of the where we are at up there uh, it's not that far and I got it right next to the road so I can do that and it's all sunny up there so it should dry out fairly quick yeah. well awesome thank you for demonstrating your portable saw mill yep. thing what is it called what it is oh it's some okay. sawmill. chain chainsaw, chainsaw saw, saw mill not That's a bandsaw it. saw mill yeah. either way it's a sawmill so we appreciate your time absolutely